this question. Back, um, what, going back to what you were saying about the death and why you're confident that this is a homicide, was there any signs of trauma to the body that clearly indicated that this was a homicide? The only thing we know as of right now is the burns of the body. We're still waiting for, for the ab absolute full report from the medical examiner's office, uh, but nonetheless, because of the burns, we're still treating this like a murder. We're trying to investigate it as such, and we won't deter from that just because we're going to treat it like that investigation to get all thorough information. And in the statement, it says, um, let's see, that this was, you're clear that this was uh, a random act of violence. Generally speaking, if I say something is a random, uh, was uh, a random act of violence, where did the, let me let me stop you right there. Where did that statement come from? Uh, so, so, um, I just so it was like, not a random act. Of not okay. My apologies. Mm -hmm. Okay, what meaning that it was not a? Could you be more specific? Because I don't want to put words in your mouth. What does that mean? Does that mean someone knew someone? No. What that means at this point is there is no information. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There is no information or evidence to this point that shows that this was something random, that there was something that was out, that was not uh, from somebody that she either knew or somebody who she had uh, some association with. That's what, sh what we're seeing at this time. So based on that information, we do not believe that this is a random act of violence. We do not believe that this is the act of a serial killer. We believe that this act was deliberate and personal. Okay? You had, I, I saw you raise your 